I work with Pacific Hydro, I'm the Electrical Engineering Manager. We're standing in Turalga Wind Farm, which is on the Southern Tablelands in uh, New South Wales, not, uh, not far from Turalga Township and to the north of Goulburn. We have three different size turbines on this farm. There's a 1.8, a 2 megawatt and a 3 megawatt turbine. So this farm makes for a very interesting forecasting challenge. Today we're standing in Taralga Wind Farm because there is 18 uh, AEMO personnel and the reason for the visit is for a field trip to understand better how the wind farms are built, designed and how we operate them. The most interesting thing I think we've learned today is uh, just in, in Taralga Wind Farm they've got three different types of wind turbines and just how with the same size of wind turbine they can generate different sizes of uh, different amounts of power just changing like the internals in the in the hub. It's also really, really interesting to go and see all the different generation that we've actually got in the NEM from a ground level and understand the issues that they have from the individual wind farms or hydro that we're seeing tomorrow um, from the actual people that work on the ground. And I think this is a wonderful opportunity for the industry to share knowledge and to come down to learning practically what's involved with operating some of the renewable energy uh, projects uh, that are now connecting into the grid. We've just arrived at Cabramurra on the way to check out this new hydro scheme. So I'm Kent Allen, I work for Snowy Hydro as the area manager of Upper Tumut region. So we are here today at uh, Tumut 2 power station, so it's an underground power station, it's actually 244 metres underground and uh, believe it or not you've got to drive a kilometre into the mountainside to get to the power station proper. So four 75 megawatt generating units here, um, so we've got a storage back up the valley that supplies water uh, to this power station, so a tunnel four and a half kilometres long coming through the mountainside to feed the turbines and then that water runs back through a seven kilometre tunnel back down to the next reservoir to feed the next uh, power station. So hydro, so you know, it's a, it's a, we've got this potential energy sitting in our water storages, uh, so it's a beautiful battery essentially, um, sitting there ready, ready to, uh, to run our turbines at any time. So that water, essentially if you think about a water wheel, that's what we're doing, but it's all enclosed. That water's running from a high uh, point to a low point, through a turbine, uh, which was producing, turning that potential energy into kinetic energy, turning a large shaft, which is connected to a large electromagnet, um, which um, pushes the electrons back out to uh, to the market, essentially in a simple in its simple form. 